All right, guys, we're going to look at HDR toning and how to HDR tone and actually add texture, uh, more texture and stuff to our images uh, through HDR toning. Uh, so we have our image here uh, in Lightroom. In the development module, we could try using the HDR um, option here on the side and see what it does for us as far as values go. Um, sometimes it works great. Sometimes it, uh, like in this case, it didn't do a lot. Um, as far as that goes, uh, 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 as far as the overall, I can come down here and then add in more visual HDRing just to be able to see this. Uh, this is uh, just giving me some um, steps here as to where there's going to be hot spots, things like that. Uh, preview, uh, so I can actually see how this is actually affecting. But in this case, I am just want it to be natural. So we're just going to leave it the way it was. Uh, I've already, uh, I really haven't made any adjustments over here, um, and I don't need to. This is a fairly good image. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to look at um, getting more of this beard hair and actually just adding more texture to his face and to his hat and everything. We're going to kind of overdo it, and then we're going to bring it back down. So um, here, here's where we're going to. We're going to open this up in Photoshop. So we're just going to open this up in Photoshop. Give this just a moment. Now, once we have it here in Photoshop, the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to um, create a copy of this. So I'm just going to do um, a save on this one so that this is saved. I have my PSD, and then I'm going to do save as... And, and do an HDR, uh, one that I'm just going to call HDR toning. So we're going to save a second copy here as HDR toning. Now, um, the reason we're doing this is we're going to need the second um, image to actually add over the top of the first image so that uh, we have two images. So we've got this. Uh, here's our HD. Uh, this is uh, saved as an HDR toning. We have the original one. We'll have to open it up here in a minute. We'll do that as soon as we get this one going. So we've got our HDR toning. We're going to go to image. Because this is destructive, um, we are going to come down here to adjustments and HDR toning. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to act just like our HDR um, when we were in working with HDR images earlier in the semester. This is actually going to um, bring up our, our image here and uh, tone it. So what I really want to do is I want to get these values to look uh, somewhat decent. So I'm going to get the uh, values to look um, about where they should be. So I'm going to have to adjust here until I get the exposure just right um, and all of that and get it to the way I want it. Uh, this is starting to get there, but I'm going to really push up this detail here a lot. I'm going to uh, force it to be a lot more than it needs to be. And then I can, of course, work with the strength here. Uh, to uh, make it work th to its best and it really just pull out some of that information. I'm not too worried about color at the moment. Um, if I need to, I will. I'm going to pull down on my shadows here and just uh, overall bring down uh, the uh, density of the image. I think it's way too too bright at the moment. This is getting there. Um, look how, how uh, much texture we have now in the hair also in his face, all of this. It's overdone and that's okay, that's the way I want it. Um, just want to make sure that I don't um, end up with any haloing in the image and um, uh, or anything like that. So once I have this up and, and about the way I want it, um, I'm going to pull down the gamma just a little bit more and also those highlights, I'm going to pull those highlights down just a slight bit more so I get a little bit more out of my highlights. And there we go. This is much different than the other image. We're going to hit OK on this, and it's going to uh, save that information to this file. As I said, this is a destructive process, so we've just kind of destroyed this file, but we are going to save it, and then we're going to open up the old M, or we're going to uh, actually Command A, so we select all, and then Command Copy, and uh, then we're going to open up the other file that we just had open, the uh, 131 here. There's our original image. We're going to make sure that we paste this back into place uh, specifically so it's in place. So we're going to go paste in place. And once this is uh, um, added in over the top here, then we can actually adjust this 
so that we bring this back down. I'm going to overdo the hair in his beard and everything and the background. And I've just brought this down to about 62%. And I'm really liking the way that this is looking right now. I love his skin texture, the skin tones here. I'm hating the, if I look at the, uh, the cloth here though, I'm really hating his t-shirt. Uh, I hate the background, the way it looks. The hat's good though. So I need to fix those. To do that, I'm just going to um, come in here and I'm going to get the uh, object selection tool. Come over here and I'm going to select my uh, selection here. And uh, once it's uh, com uh, committed to the selection, this will have gotten rid of the background. I can or the background. I'm going to invert the selection, um, or I'm going to um, leave this as is, and then add a mask to this. And that will uh, take the background back to the way it was originally, which is great. I like that a lot because that's the way I like that background. I might brighten it up just a little bit and make a little bit more green on this side here in a bit, but or you know overall. But in general, I've got it back. I've got the image kind of where I want it. The next um, thing that I want to do is I want to get that shirt down. So I can either make a selection or just use a brush. In this case, I'm just going to use the brush. It'll be much faster and cleaner. So I'm going to get the brush and I'm going to bring up this opacity to 100%. Now, if you don't think that you need it at 100%, you can always uh, adjust it from there. Um, and then I'm just going to, using the, uh, uh, the uh, black brush here, I'm just going to start painting on this uh, shirt and taking out that text or taking out the shirt, getting rid of all that overly texturized uh, surface there. If I want, I could also use a, a percentage and do it that way. This just actually works fairly well. I may have to come in here and uh, get really clean with uh, the hairs there in the, sh in the face um, and actually uh, check it for, uh, for to make sure that everything looks good. But here's overall what I've got, and here's the image so far. Um, this is when I'll get into um, being a lot more, um, start uh, generalizing where I really want uh, this HDR toning. I might come in here and then adjust, you know, work on certain things like maybe the glasses and stuff. Maybe I don't want his eyes to be quite as uh, much. Um, I actually overdid it there, so that's because this was at 100%. I'm going to change my percentage here and then start working this in just a little bit so that it's back to a little bit of its original. Um, so that it's not so harsh around his eyes or under his eyes here. And uh, maybe a little bit in the forehead to just bring back in some of that shadow right in there. But I overall, I like the way that the texture and everything's going here. Um, I might come in and do some dodging and burning and so forth and so on. But this is HDR toning and actually toning an image. And um, I can go then from here and start working on the rest of the image and making it look better. I might even come back in here to these beads uh, using this mask over here, I might come into the beads and start bringing those beads back out just uh, by uh, getting a brush and uh, switching this over to white and just bringing these beads back in a little bit at a time, uh, just like this, so that the beads start to stand out. But I don't want to bring in that shirt because that shirt's uh, not, so, not the best uh, part of the image, I don't think. So, so then bring out the beads. I might want to do a little dodging and burning to bring the beads out even more. Uh, but uh, as you can see, I, I'm getting an overall feel that I want. Look at those hairs, though. That, uh, uh, those are so fine compared to the original image. Look at that. Those are so nice now. Uh, again, you can always tone it down if you think it's a little much. Uh, in this case, it may be a little over much. But uh, you get the overall picture of uh, what we're doing here and how we can actually increase uh, the uh, contrast in the image uh, and the facial features and the texture and stuff through HDR tone. Thank you for watching.